Hello everyone, my name is Antonio Donatello, I'm an Italian singer and songwriter and this is the lesson for Misty Mountain Hope, a song by Led Zeppelin. So before getting into the video, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, I'm Italian, I'm not English, this is my first time making a, a video in English, spoken in English, so bear with me. My English is not perfect at all. And second of all, this is my rendition of Misty Mountain Hope, I don't claim it to be perfect. I don't claim it to be 100% correct, so this works for me, has worked for me, and I hope uh, it will provide value for you as well. And uh, third, this is my first uh, online lesson video, so I'm not perfectly into it, and uh, let's try to make the best of it, and I hope you once again find value in it. Let's get into the video. So we're going to divide the video into four parts. The first part will be the main riff, the second part will be the verses, the third part will be the chorus, and the fourth part will be the solo. The first part is actually quite easy. It starts on A, on the note A on the sixth string, and it does uh, something like this. So it starts on A, then it moves to G, then it moves to E, and then it takes the E one octave above. This riff is repeated throughout the song and it's uh, the main riff of the song. The next part are the verses and it's actually the most uh, tricky part, the trickiest part in the song because uh, the way I play it is I take the shape of a D major which is this one as we all know it and then I move it one string above to the fifth fret to take this chord here to begin with so the progression would be something like then D And then we move to the main riff once again. This is, uh, as I said, the trickiest part because uh, uh, it's a bit tricky to do it with speed, at the speed of the song, at the tempo of the song. So you have to practice a bit, but uh, then you get the hang of it and it becomes easier. It's uh, basically this chord moved up one string then D, then the, the chord one fret lower, don't ask me for the name of the chord because uh, I actually don't know it pretty well so that's the way it works for me and uh, at full speed the riff would be something like Then we move to the chorus, which is actually quite easy because uh, uh, the progression is uh, D major, G major, and then it starts once again with the main riff. There's actually another way to play the chorus, which is, I think, what uh, Jimmy Page does live, which is to start on uh, the classic shape of D major, 
and, have, and then to move this shape up to take uh, the G chord, to play the, the G chord. So it will be something like... And it has, uh, it's actually quite easy, it's just a progression of uh, D major and G major. Then we get to the solo, and once again, this is the way I've always played it. It works for me, uh, I don't think it's the 100% correct way to play it, but once again it works. So, we start uh, uh, with... Uh, I'll try to play it slower, and then I'll try to speed it up. We start with E. And then we move up the up the fretboard. Then we do something like this with a bending. And once again... And then there is this final lick on the solo. Which uh, you can actually play with a bending, which uh, it's a bit more complicated but it works better, I think. And then the song moves once again to the verses. And the final section is just the main riff repeated all over again. So once again guys, I hope this video provided value. Um, some of you asked me to make a lesson for this song. And uh, it's actually quite uh, a fun song to play and uh, i hope you will enjoy playing it and uh, i hope once again this video was helpful bye guys <laughs>